Hey YouTube, it's Naya Nappy, and I'm back for another Tip Tuesday. Now this week we are going to be talking about Moringa Powder, and I feel like it ties really nicely with the series because we've talked about having proper pH balance of our scalp and then how to have a healthy scalp using oils and Ayurvedic herbs. And now this particular herb is so, so powerful. It has over 90 vitamins and minerals and 46 antioxidants that encourage hair growth, help fight hair fall, and to prevent an itchy and dry scalp. So this herb kind of gives it all to us. Okay, so we're gonna talk about some of the um, external benefits in using in this in the mask. And one of the vitamins we're gonna talk about is vitamin A because it helps to build collagen in our hair, which is very, very important for having a strong and healthy structure of our hair. It is also rich in vitamin C and E, which are powerful antioxidants that helps to prevent free radical damage from the sun and the environment and to moisturize our hair. Additionally, y'all, it has wonderful antibacterial properties that are great in healing um, skin ailments, uh, dermatitis, dandruff, and eczema. So y'all, you know, as much as I love to put this on my hair externally, it's also important to get this into your body internally. Again, it has so many other nutrients. We'll kind of discuss that later, but also I have a smoothie recipe on my blog if you're curious of how I introduce it into my diet. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you guys how I make my external hair mask, okay? So we're going to begin with about two thirds of my aloe vera plant. We're gonna cut it down the sides in the middle and then scrape its contents into the blender. Blend it, if you need to use a little bit of water, you can go ahead and do that to make sure it blends very well. And then strain it out, you guys, for use and put it to the side. All right, now we're gonna go in with half a cup of Moringa powder. Now this powder kind of spreads, so if you don't have a lot of hair, you can use a little bit less if you need to. We're gonna go in with about half a cup of my aloe vera that I've already strained, mix that up, and probably use about another half cup of water to completely hydrate this Moringa powder. Now we're gonna go in with about three to four teaspoons of my Ayurvedic hair oil. Y'all, this oil is so amazing. And a lot of y'all have bought it and really, really love this. And next up, I'm gonna go in with my oat and aloe deep conditioner and add about two to three tablespoons, y'all. This is gonna add some slip, some moisture. This is just gonna make the mixture creamy and also very, very easy to rinse out. Now, if you don't have this, you can use any type of deep conditioner you have, or if you like to keep it all natural, you can use Greek yogurt or coconut milk. Okay, so go ahead and mix this up all the way. Um, shampoo your hair or rinse it with warm water and then let's begin with application. Okay, so I just gently shampooed my hair. Now I'm going to apply this mask to my hair and I only shampooed my hair gently because I did not wash my hair last week. Don't judge me. <laughs> so uh, when you apply this, make sure you get your roots all the way down to the ends of your hair. So all right, y'all know I'm gonna tell you some more of the benefits of Moringa powder, all right? All right, y'all, so Moringa is rich in B vitamin complex, such as B1, B2, B3, B6, B7, and biotin, which helps to increase scalp circulation and encourage hair growth. Additionally, it is rich in inositol. As we know, inositol is also found in rice water. Now this helps to penetrate damaged hair and repairs it from the inside out and protects it from future damage. It is also rich in zinc. As we know, low zinc levels are linked to hair loss and poor hair growth. So a high level of zinc is shown to improve damaged hair follicles. Additionally, y'all, it's rich in vitamin C. I'm talking about seven times more vitamin C than oranges. It has five times more potassium than bananas and 25 times more iron than spinach. 
So if you're like me and you're suffering from iron deficiency, you'll definitely need to be getting this into your diet by consuming this. I love to do this by making a smoothie with this and adding just a teaspoon of powder into the mix. So definitely get this if you're suffering from any nutritional deficiencies. And y'all, I'm going to talk a little bit about my Ayurvedic hair oil that I use in this mix as well. A lot of y'all know that this is infused with 10 Ayurvedic herbs, herbs such as henna, amla, fenugreek, brahmi, burdock root, bringraj, ashwagandha, cassia, neem, and horsetail. Now these herbs will help to heal and repair damaged cells in the scalp, improve follicle health, and aid in faster hair growth. Additionally, y'all, of course, y'all know I had to add in some of my oat and aloe deep condition. Now, y'all, this has become quite the favorite because it has amazing moisturizing benefits and can soothe an itchy and irritated scalp and improve hair growth. It is also rich in herbs such as aloe vera, horsetail extract, rosemary, chamomile, nettle, and sage. So all of these wonderful benefits are being used right now on the hair. As y'all can tell, I can easily finger detangle with this Moringa powder in my hair. And the application is very smooth going on. My strands are absolutely loving this. So definitely get into this. Um, try my oat and aloe deep conditioner and my oil. Or if you don't have that, definitely use either coconut milk or Greek yogurt. Something thick and that allows a little bit of slip while you apply this powder to your hair. All right, you guys, that's it. So you can leave this application on your hair for about 30 minutes to an hour. Do what you have to do and then rinse it out. So I just rinsed out the Moringa powder. It rinsed out very, very easily. The powder I have is nice and finely ground. It mixed very well with the deep conditioner. I recommend either that or Greek yogurt or coconut milk to help make the ease and rinsing. Um, I literally just put my head under the faucet and it came right out. So y'all can use this treatment as a pre-poo or you can add it to your deep conditioner as your last step. I'm actually gonna go ahead and shampoo my hair just one more time, just because I didn't really um, cleanse my hair well last week. So I wanna make sure that I do this week before I begin, you know, re-moisturizing and all that. But if you guys have any questions regarding Moringa powder, please leave it down in the comment section down below. And, if you, and don't forget to subscribe to my videos. I do videos every week on Tuesday, teaching you about Ayurvedic herbs or DIY hair care. If you guys have any suggestions for videos you guys like to see, leave it down in the comment section. But that's it for this week. I'll see you next time. Bye.